Hey, doesn't that look like fun hanging out with the president of the United States in the White House? That's Terrence K. Williams, conservative comedian and actor and author of From the Foster House to the White House. A great book, a great story. Terrence K. Williams, welcome back to Newsmax, man. How are you? I am doing great, and it is just awesome to be back on the Greg Kelly Show, the best show out there. Way better than the shows on Fox News. I'm happy to be on your show. All right. Well, we better live up to that. Make some stuff happen <laughs> here. Terrence, uh, look, this has been a hard uh, couple of weeks for people. Our favorite president is no longer president. Uh, I think he can come back in a big way. You were pretty tight with him. How are you feeling right now? And what do you think is going to happen next? Well, you know, I still support President Donald J. Trump, and uh, I still refer to him as president. He will always be my president. The loony liberals screamed that he wasn't uh, uh, their president for four years. So for the next four years, I will be saying that he is my president. Uh, you know, I, I have his back, and whatever he decides to do next, I will support him 100%. Hey, by the way, uh, you got a lot of support from the Trump family. Listen, you were making a name for yourself a little bit in reality TV and on online, social media. But the way I understand it, you know, a lot of people made half promises to you. But the ones who took you really seriously and really lived up to what they said they were going to do. Am I wrong? Was it the Trumps? It was actually the Trump family. You know, this family is a down to earth family. Uh, President Trump and his family treated me like they were like I was part of their family, you know, and I sat at the table with President Trump and he didn't have to sit me at his table. He did that because he is just a genuine down to earth guy. And I told the president, I said, Mr. President, I said, I don't want to sit at this table for too long because I want you to enjoy time with your family. He said, no, you are family also. This man said I was his family. I mean, these people are so down to earth. And for the loony liberals and the and the, the fake news to say horrible things about them is absolutely disgusting and, and defamation. I mean, they should sue these people. <laughs> yes, I think, uh, well, we know he likes to sue. I don't know if it's going to happen. He's got the impeachment thing to deal with first. He's got his lawyers all ready. What do you think of that? I mean, this is disgusting. Why are they still trying to impeach this man? I mean, I thought he was not the president anymore. Why are they trying to impeach a private citizen? So evidently, they are obsessed with President Trump. They can't get this man off of their mind. They cannot live without him. They can't live with him and they can't live without him. I mean, this I mean, they are, they are so obsessed with, with with Donald Trump and I just don't understand. They can't get enough of him and I think they honestly want him to be the president. I mean, that's what it is. Well, we're looking that's at exactly what it is. We're looking at they some miss We're looking at some pictures of people who want President Trump to be president again 2024. These were taken by Jessica down in uh Palm Beach. They're excited about 2024. Hey, man, look, you were very prominent in Trump world. And now that for now, he's no longer president. Um, and I know how you feel about him in your heart. Are they coming for you? Are you getting a hard time on social media, Hollywood? You know, I know you've got contacts there in the television world. And, you know, you had some options there. and Things were happening in your career. Do you find that you're paying a price because of your association with President Trump? I've been paying a price since day one. I've been supporting President Trump since day one, and I have been shut out from Hollywood. They will not open the doors up for me at all. And you know what? I'm just and I'm fine with that. I can survive without Hollywood. I don't need them. Um, you know, uh, Hollywood is sick anyway. A lot of those people I don't want to work with. I don't want to be next to. Um, but Facebook, I have been banned from my account for about a. Uh, Three months now since the election, I have not had I have not had access to my page at all on Facebook. So yes, they are coming for me. I get uh, uh, Twitter is always you know putting me on temporary bans every now and then. I mean every other week I'm on a temporary 12 hour ban, 11 hour ban. Uh, they are coming for all of us. Everyone that supported President Trump, they are coming for everyone who supported him. Well, we got to stand strong and uh, we will not be defeated. What are your plans for the next couple of months? 
Oh, my plans for the next couple months is the same as I've been doing, standing up for America, being a true patriot and living my life. And I will continue to fight for President Trump because they are still coming for him. So he still needs our support. So he will have my full support in these next coming months. I urge everybody to check out from the Foster House to the White House, Terrence K. Williams book, uh, an amazing um, unfortunate at times uh, upbringing, but man, you learned so much and you turned it into uh, an amazing opportunity, several amazing opportunities that are not over yet. Thank you, Terrence K. Williams. Good luck, stay in touch, we'll see you soon. Don't leave me hanging, buddy, are you still there? Oh, I said thank you, brother. Okay, I, sorry, I didn't catch that. I hope, uh, thank you, Bal, and um, uh, to be continued. We'll be right back.